So it was a test of a cheap Chinese uh, seamless SDI switcher, um, which was kind of expensive for uh, you know these usual um, sort of black box video converters. Looks identical to a seamless HDMI switcher I got, which was significantly cheaper. Um, but um, often, if you stick SDI in something, it's suddenly more expensive. Um, I'll open them up and see what chips are in them. I suspect there's much of the same going on in there. But um, to be fair to it, it does do the job, and I can switch between SDI inputs. And there's, yeah, there, it is seamless. You'll notice the uh, slight frame pause um, just before it switches. Uh, that's exactly what the uh, the cheap HDMI device I have does. So more than likely uh, sort of same chip going on in there. Um, it is fixed to um, 60 FPS so you're fucked for 30 bit, uh, 50 even. It will take uh, 50 in but it's only going to put 60 out. Um, I need these primarily for switching um, these cameras which are likely going to be always used at um, 30 frames per second anyway so not too too big a deal, but uh, yeah, it could be a limiting factor.